am incredibly proud of my team, of the Call the Midwife company, if you like, with the way they have joined together to tell the story of thalidomide. The programme begins to deal with thalidomide, the drug, and its side effects and the kind of impact it's having on the community. I was aware that there was a generation of people affected, but I didn't actually know what had happened, and so it's been very educational for me. It was only really when, in the last series, there was a scene where Dr Turner prescribes thalidomide and says it's this new wonder drug, thalidomide, because it was a lady who had terrible morning sickness, and both my mum and dad, who I was watching it with at the time, just went, <gasps> like that, and I was like, oh, what? And they just explained the whole thing, and it kind of was a whole generation affected by it. It stopped morning sickness. It was one of those kind of all-round wonder, wonder drugs. It seemed to do everything and help people relax and was, and was given, and it was on a cough mixture as well. It affects the growth of the fetus while it's in gestation, basically, and, and mm. has other effects too, but... And particularly the limbs, development mm. of the limbs. But it's suppose. the kind of, the shocking part, the, the upsetting part of that era was that there was no ultrasound, you, can't, you don't know. What we realised was working with prosthetic newborn babies with prosthetic limbs, um, with some computer-generated imagery, we are in a position technologically to tell this story with a degree of detail and I think the work Stella O'Farrell has done and her makeup team with the little prosthetic baby, baby Susan, that we had specially created has been astounding and it's not just the technical aspect of it, it's the love that's gone into it. We pick it up at different points through uh, through the series, which is brilliant because it really gives it its whole weight. Some of this interview has been filmed just after a very emotional scene and it's quite hard to shake that off actually. And you hope that you're invested in it, you, you know, the writing affects you, it touches you and then you're in there doing the scene and you, you want to do it justice. You know, there's been, you know, stuff that's, yeah, very, very, very affecting. It's a, thalidomide is an issue that many of us will be looking back on with knowledge of how it happened and why it happened and why it should never have happened and why things should have been handled differently. Drama has the power to do more than simply let people have a glass of wine and let their mind drift. They can if they want, that's the great thing about drama, but you can also gain these other things from it, so I'm immensely proud of that. At the end of the day, we're telling a story that is not over. This isn't just history. People who are affected by thalidomide are still fighting for recognition of their injuries, for compensation for their injuries. And it's the first time in Call the Midwife we've had the opportunity to tell a story which is still ongoing. This is the beginning of the story, if you like, in 1961. And we did feel that sense of responsibility very keenly.